Propaganda. Ideas or statements that are often false or exaggerated and that are spread in order to help a cause, a political leader, or a government. That sounds a lot like what I see every single day when I actually waste my time to keep up with what the news media is saying. I know this firsthand from seeing and hearing about media reports of what I was doing in the military that weren't even close to the truth. If you or someone you know wasn't actually on the X, then you're getting third party information. And we all know what happens when he said, she said. What I mean by that is if you weren't actually there to witness the events, then you truly have no idea what really happened. Let's bring up a recent example, the Navy Yard shooting. Same gun, different slay? To this day, I still talk to people that believe there was an AR used in the Navy Yard shooting, thanks to inaccurate media reports at the time of the incident. There wasn't an AR there at all, it was a shotgun. The same gun the vice president recommended we should go buy for self-defense. And I know that because I spoke with guys that were at the scene. That's accurate information. But by the time the truth came out, the media had already spent a full news cycle splattering our screens with the AR-15. Some issued retractions of their inaccurate statements, some didn't. But it doesn't matter either way, because everyone's attention was already somewhere else. Is there an emotional attachment to the word AR, or assault rifle, or weapon of war? Of course there is. And that emotional connection is 100% created by the media. They want people to think about mass shootings and criminal violence every time they hear the word AR, or see that type of gun in person, or on TV. Think of the media for what they are, an entertainment business. What sounds better for them? Two random tragic acts of violence a few months apart? Or connecting those isolated events by hyper-focusing on the scary looking gun used in both? Here's another trick of theirs. When someone commits a murder, it used to be a murder, right? But now they race to label anything with a gun as a shooting because they know how much more attention they're gonna get with that word. So the average person who doesn't stop to think about what he's watching falls for the storyline. Think about the difference between a shooting and a murder. In one, you have a shooter, and the other one, a murderer. All of a sudden, instead of focusing on the real common link between all acts of evil, the evil person who did it, we are subconsciously told to think about the tool they used instead. Evil is the problem, the tool is irrelevant. And stories designed to make you think anything other than the truth are propaganda.